um, this judgment, this judgment on Breonna Taylor, I think a lot of people are heartbroken, frustrated, and angry about it. Um, but I do not think any of us are surprised. I think the shocker is that anybody was indicted, if we're going to be completely transparent in the situation. I think... Um, I think that we have become so acclimated to justice not happening for the black community that we know that we just want to make it clear that we are aware. Um, but here's the thing. So when something like this happens, it triggers that part of yourself that is tired of feeling like you aren't seen as adequate or worthy of the same rights, freedoms, and liberties as the majority of the population that makes up the United States of America. Um, and so here's the thing. Um, we control that. We control that reality for ourselves. And it's about understanding the fundamentals. It's about learning what you don't know that you don't even know. Um, and it's about strategizing in a chess sort of way instead of a checker sort of way um, everything we're doing is for us to be in a position where we can exist as a community self-sustainably in a thriving and prosperous way so that something like urban renewal or um, urban development doesn't motivate us to sell away our freedom for the ideal of somebody making it better for us um, for every black Wall Street and black prospering community that was destroyed through violence and murder, there were twice as many disassembled by black people seeking a white savior to make things better for them in their environments. By black people um, being sold a dream and feeling like it was worth buying into. Um, so, what am I saying? All right. We've been in the works on the Black Community Development Project for pretty much this whole year. And it's been weighing on us for years. We feel like money is the answer to every problem. Money is a tool. Without the necessary resources, information, and comprehension, we will always find ourselves feeling like we just need more of it to solve the problem. And that is the biggest propaganda that has been propagated on our communities to exist in an inadequate state. So we did a couple of things. Um, black people don't feel like we have enough resources already to be able to be self-sustainable. They feel like if we really want to be self-sustainable, we're going to have to tap into somebody for some arena that makes it up. That's a lie. That's why we're working on the black business directory for the businesses, the products, and the service providers in our community. Whether you're on the up and up with legal reg registration or not, you we have to normalize being, self, being aware of all of our options from the get-go. It's important for us to do that because if we don't, we start to use that as our crutch to make excuses for why it's not possible. So that's why we are personally funding that and collaborating with as many businesses as we can to make that a sustainable thing. The Green Book, it, it sounds great in theory, but let me ex explain something. It empowered a level of self-sustainability within black communities throughout the nation that they don't talk about because if you normalize that subject matter, it changes the narrative. So that's one. That is needed without monetization, without people trying to convince somebody um, that the exposure or the extra like upsell is worth it. Like we information is a powerful resource for us because we do different things with information in an innovative way that other groups and races do not even grasp how to really effectively level up like that. Right. Um, the, the second thing is we need spaces where we can be us and we can be transparent, honest and open about the things that are fundamentally needed, inc including accountability. We need to be able to call a spade a spade. And if you heard it, say, ouch, but keep it moving, because that's the difference between somebody who's really trying to build and somebody who's tr really trying to break you down. Um, the second the second thing is we need skill sets. Everybody can't be a social media influencer, insta-famous, 
a real a reality TV star that don't work for us that that gets nothing done. Being the face of something, having followers gets nothing done unless you have the capacity to lead them somewhere effectively with strategy, with using the moving parts to make up any mission to effectively level it up to the next state. It's, it's no point in feeling so much. Everybody, everybody is going through these same feelings of anger, frustration, um, pain. If they came from generations that witnessed this and they're seeing it modernized, I'm pretty sure they probably feel the worst because they had to relive it, live through it twice. We're not in a place where we're trying to convince our own, where we're trying to um, manipulate our own, where we're trying to take advantage of our own. Guess what? When we thrive, it's impossible for anybody not to prosper. When we're progressing collectively, it is impossible for anybody to fall through the craps because each one teach one. Everybody build. Every, it's enough for everybody to eat. We're, we were conditioned to be a consumer nation. If you got something for somebody to consume, somebody's going to buy it. But you have to be intentional. We got to get out of trying to trying to be in a place where the divisiveness is what we thrive off of. To get people on our bandwagon. Where your bandwagon going? The worst thing we can do today is normalize follow culture without adequate leadership. Don't encourage people to lead you if you ain't got nowhere to take them to. If you don't comprehend empowerment, if you don't comprehend the, mo the different moving pieces that make up the puzzle. It's no point in being a distraction because that's what you are. You are a distraction if you do not have the capacity to empower your people to progress from where they are to where we need to be for peace, for safety, to be able to control our own narrative, to be able to own our own environments, to not feel like we need to permission to want to exist in environments where we can have peace of mind, where we can bask in our spiritualities and our faiths. Where we can raise our children in a healthy environment where that coexistence of outside and inside living can exist functionally. Where we're not insecure or feeling like we need to um, lock down our stuff even more to feel some level of comfort and doing day-to-day -day activities at home. We have to eradicate the fundamental need for certain things to exist, right? So everybody feels like money solves the problem. Here's the thing. This country is living off of borrowed funds. Trillions and trillions of dollars in debt. Really calculate what that translates to be salary wise, right? So if they're living off of debt, if we got a president right now who is who is bankrupted himself six times but is still a wealthy a wealthy man, there should be a question of how. It's because credit is a credit is a resource to tap into money. That you weren't afforded through your birthrights. That you didn't inherit as a as a trust or something like that. You have to understand how to credit in a way that builds wealth instead of takes advantage of suffering. So it is important for you to understand the fundamentals of how credit works. Because guess what? If every single person, even on one group, one black group, one black platform, one black uh, movement initiative. If every single person just get their credit right, that's millions and millions of dollars to tap into. It doesn't take being a billionaire to accomplish a small goal. The one great thing about them 19 families buying that eight, those acres in Tulsa, it, I mean in Georgia, is it reinforced that collectively we can do. And it doesn't take billions and billions of dollars to adequately do it so we stop we have to stop making an excuse that we need money first no you need information you need to understand how to use the resources at your disposal credit is free to build and if you don't the moment you see it if you don't feel like you just won the lottery and you start understanding that it's a small piece of a bigger puzzle in a strategy then you move accordingly investing for every person who was able to take their position home, it was a hundred people that added their their resources, their capital, their tools to an investment strategy to multiply the returns on what they had already to allow for themselves to exist in a self-sustainable state. 
Understand, understand how business works. That's a major one. If you don't understand how business works, you, you are always going to be in a state where you feel like you, you are insufficient. When in all naturality, all of the fundamentals needed for life, they come to everybody that's not just willing to throw their hands in the air and just hope. So clearly, other certain people are using strategies you're not using to be able to sustain themselves with less by allowing the business to have to account for more of the demands. The taxation process is only against you if you don't comprehend how business works in correlation to the taxation process. And then that goes on to the next thing. Un really get intentional about under really get intentional about wanting to own being committed to own ownership is the difference between asking for permission and declaring what's going to be ownership also shifts your perspective about politics you start to comprehend that politics ain't just about the the orange guy uh being dramatic and sabotaging our relationships in other countries it's a it's about everything it comes down to how much they tax you what you can get past in your environment i know a city in north carolina right now where they tried to put traffic cameras up to monetize people driving two to five miles above the mile of uh, speed limit guess what they got them cameras up but they can't ticket nobody because what happened? The city, the entire city voted against it. the owners of the city voted against them being taken advantage of financially through the government, through the monetization of a fucking camera system. Meanwhile, D.C. can probably get rid of most of their taxes because they eat. That city is ran off of the, the, the monetization of the traffic cameras. Which we think is small than child support. The criminalization of people's failure to pay child support. You voted that into existence. And you reinforce its sustainability and its thriving prosperity in our communities. Because child support numbers don't really adequately add up to income amounts. They don't adequately add up to the actual needs of the child. They're willing to give more to subsidiary programs taking care of your child than they are willing to give to you when you're living be below a livable wage as an individual before children are in the added to the equation we have to understand the fundamental needs to of all of the moving parts we have to get out of a survival mindset we have to get out of the condition and a feeling like anybody is our enemy we have to we have to be so intentional about achieving the goal that it's impossible for people to infiltrate. And if they try to, it becomes self-evident super easily. They start to put thoughts of greed into your mind. They start to bring up concepts of, inf of, of things that allow for your brother to suffer at, the, at your hand. They start to talk about ways that takes from Peter to give to Paul. They start, they start to allow for the idea that you can only be self, you can only be sustainable and progressive if somebody else has to lose. And it's a lie. It is a lie. And we have to get to a place where we can hold ourselves accountable. What's your conditioning? What is that thing that you are not intentional about in the way you move? What is that thing that you undermine the value of because you are ignorant to it? And when I say ignorant, I mean unaware or unknowledgeable in the arena. It's not about being ignorant like F this, hoes that, rapping this. It's, it's about we don't know what we don't know. And if somebody understands a moving part of the positions that you don't, you need to either be eager to learn or give them credit for playing their position. And be ready to know your role and play your position. Because we need many hands to make for light work. It's a lot of moving parts. Most of the moving parts don't require degrees. or They require you to possess a skill set. They require for you to be willing to put in the time and the effort. That They require for you to be... Un be receptive of other people having something to contribute that may feel and I say feel because once you understand all the moving parts matter equally you realize that nothing is invaluable as long as the goal is accomplished from it 
It is very imperative for us to level up collectively. It is very imperative for us not to encourage our own divisiveness. They have taught us to see our brothers as our enemies, see our sisters as our enemies, second guess all of their motives and trust the narrative fed to us. If it is getting maximized exposure, it is not for our empowerment. Understand that. They do not maximize exposure to things that encourage you to be self-sustainable. Because somebody has to be at the bottom. America was built on the backs of the impoverished Europeans that didn't like being at the bottom of the totem pole. They redirected themselves somewhere, claimed that they found a country that was pre-resident, um, pre-existing with a whole way of life, a whole culture, a whole way of functionality. And then they tried to convince those people to serve them. Servitude didn't work that way. So that th there were assassination after assassination after assassination. And then when they had no people to serve them, they were willing to do hostile kidnappings because that's what that was. Slavery was a mass kidnapping. Hostile hostaging for indentured servitude to build a way, the wealth to get themselves to the top, top of the totem pole. Slavery ended because insurance cl claimed frauds. It didn't, it didn't end because of humanity. Understand how to hold people accountable for the facts. This is the history they putting, they hand fed to you. So this is a history that you really need to read and understand and comprehend that everybody outside of your own is guilty until proven innocent. Make them prove themselves. That's where the accountability kicks in for equality. It doesn't kick in by saying, oh, but you didn't this. It's the, the number of ways that the conditioning is deeply rooted into our community was done effectively. Even if you will read the Willie Lynch letter. Bruh, that's the tip of the iceberg. That's not the whole story. That is the tip of the iceberg. When you figure out how deeply it is, it is impossible not to be angry. It is impossible not to feel upset that somebody would have the audacity to see you as so in, so worthy of inhumane treatment without cause. And we have to reclaim our humanity. We have to be willing to get on one accord to reclaim our humanity in a self-sustainable way. Because guess what? When you own, you don't got to prove shit to nobody. You make the decisions. You make the, the calls. You give the permission or the forgiveness. It's, it's, it's not the same way around. The people that are factors, you put in a place. And you can pull them by their coattails like mama used to do. If they don't act right or align. That's the difference. And understand ownership. Ownership is also a political play. You can buy it, but they will use politics to take advantage of it, which is why we cannot undermine that either. Anywhere, you're not going anywhere in the world where the political aspect isn't a, fa a factor. So learn it. Learn how to tap into accumulating and coming together collectively to have the resources to make sure that we are in power in that position as well. We need every moving part. And let me be very clear. This is not me saying kumbaya or let's just get together and pretend that like we just going to be good because we own it. No. If you stay ready, you ain't got to get ready. Tactical, tactical training, education and equipment is fundamental. A part of why the United States of America is a leader of the free, the free world is because tactically... Their military presence and their investments in their military are so engraved into the culture of this country that too, a lot of people are worried about the collateral damage that would come by contesting us unstrategically. So it's time to be transparent about that too. Everybody has a role to play. Know your role, play your position. Don't contribute to the divisiveness they are trying to empower within our collective communities that are tired, that wants our peace back, that wants to exist safely, that wants to have the freedom to plan for the future, 
that wants to be in places where we can just do normal stuff, that wants to be able to prioritize our health without worrying about being ran down on the street or assassinated just for being out and about, that wants to be able to naturally consume the same goods that everybody else is, organic, um, non-GMO, that aren't toxic or leading to our health risk. We want this stuff too. We want to be able to make a plan with our kids and know that it will come to fruition. We want to be able to teach generational wealth that is self-sustainable. We want to give our kids the option to choose, make decisions, make plans, and know that they have the type of environments, educational resources, um, you, you, utilization, they have the community support that will not allow for it to fall through the cracks. We want to know that we can ac be accountable to our own without them stabbing us in the back or setting us up. It is time to get to a place where we stop. All of the things that they have set up to condition us to make sure that that divisiveness is just as effective as it needs to be to make sure that every one step forward leads to three steps back or we end up plateauing somewhere that is nowhere near the finish line. This is a marathon, not a sprint. So I'm not trying to insinuate that anything I'm talking about right now is going to happen overnight. But what I am going to say is if everybody, every single person becomes intentional in that area that they can really level up and empower, it changes the reality. Period. If every person gets uncomfortable with the idea of being the voice or the point of view that contributes to something that nobody else in that area is talking about, it changes stuff. You might feel it's fine to be the, the culture, this culture's nerd. That outcast, that person that people felt the need to kind of make feel a tiny bit ostracized because they were doing something and going against the grain. It is fine to go against the grain right now. The grain is headed into a hellfire pit. Are you willing to run uphill while all momentum is going downhill to spare yourself, to spare the future? Because that's what you now have to think like. Are you willing to go against what is normal to make the reality completely different from the past or the present and truly something that no generations after us will have to relive in any modernized version of itself that is self-destructive, that allows for us to feel inadequate, that allows for us to struggle, that allows for us to... um hit our head on the wall and feel some type of way about anybody doing anything that empowers us because it don't look right. It don't sound right. It's a little sketchy. They, oh, well, I heard this. Allow for proof to be in the pudding. Allow for, allow for us not to villainize or criminalize ourselves mentally, spiritually, emotionally, or morally. Allow for us to get to a place where we are for it and it become and it's gonna it's gonna be proven but we all got to be ready to do the work we got to be ready to do the work we got to be commit, committed to making sure that every building block is sustainable so we got to be able to protect the work we got to be able to teach and 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 instill these things into the every generation that we can connect to whether it's above us or below us as we do it many hands make for light works and so we might not know what they know as it relates to how they successfully survived we need to understand the black people that have made it to 80, have made it to 100, have made it to 90, have made it to 70, have made it to 50, have made it to 40. When we've been assassinated at 22 and 16 and 12, we got to figure out how to bridge that gap for self-sustainability. We got to understand what parts of their strategies will work for our goal. True to meat, spit, spit out the bones. The packaging won't always be ideal. What's the mission? Does it avail the mission to progress? 
Because one of the things that a lot of us don't talk about is the grant program. The United States of America, they give out millions and millions and millions of dollars in grants just to get somebody to contribute one tiny little factor to something they're trying to do to progress and level up, including their defense department. You do the research that if you you can be eligible for grants that helps them figure out how to level up in this very speck of a way connected to defense for the country. And they will give you hundreds of thousands, if not millions of dollars to achieve that one little thing. Because it's they understand how significant it is to constantly be progressing in that way as well. Don't let them convince us otherwise. The time, that time is over. The time of being um, sold out of your inheritance. The time of being sold out of your safety. Sold out of your peace. Sold out of um, your self-sustainability. It's a lie. It is a, it is a lie. And we have to max. We have to choose to maximize exposure to minimal groups that sync up with us. And I mean for us, not to get insta famous. Not to trend, not for a hashtag to go viral. Like, that doesn't work. The more eyes on us that are against us, the more aggressively we have to prepare, prepare ourselves to be in an offensive state to avoid attack defensively. We got to be proactive in our strategies. We got to talk to people from a place of being intentional. It is fine to feel what you feel, but figure out how to streamline it into what the goal is. That pain, that anger, that that frustration, that insecurity, feel, feel, figure out what it is you need to be able to do to cultivate that. I'm going to tell you something. Construction is a powerful fucking thing to be doing when you pissed off. The demolition of something is such an uh, uh, invigorating feeling when you are when you are tired of being tired. It does something to you. It allows for you to tap into all those things that you justly feel and understand. It is just. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I will never convince anybody that anything that is a problem culturally reflected upon us is not just to feel all of the negative things that are gonna seep up out of us for that. But how? How do you utilize that as an additional resource for the progression versus a stifling crutch to our demise? We have to be that. That strategic. We don't have a choice. Nobody is coming to save us. Nobody. As bad as we feel like they should. As much as we feel like other people's logic, reasoning, um, moral complex, emotional integrity should want to. Not a soul can save us. You have to be a part of your own rescue. So you can't be a part of your own struggle. Both can't happen simultaneously. Understand how to only be aggressive, angry, or combative when you comprehend that it builds instead of breaks down. This is a, this is a game of tennis. If we play in teams... Anything that I'm giving to... Anything that I'm giving aggressively is to make sure we win not so that they lose it's to make sure we win their loss ain't my problem my win is my problem so my teammate is the only thing going to get extra aggression from me and it's going to be because iron sharpens iron and I need to make sure I need to make sure your stuff is fine tuning too I need to make sure it's no weak links in the chain so I can strengthen you up to my level if you decide at any point to fall short so I can keep your head in the game from the beginning to the end because the mission is clear and it got too many moving parts and it's impacting way too many people and way too long of a future for us not to prioritize it. So I say that 
you know somebody that's synced up with something it's this is the time to be like yo we've been watching you i've been following you i whatever we've been we've been thinking we've been working on this you really should blah 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 if it falls in deaf ears, it doesn't matter. Make sure you're doing your part. Play your position. Make sure you're understanding that you're reinforcing the same message. And this isn't about trending or being popular or following or, or getting people on your bandwagon or for street cred or validation. This is because many hands make for light work. So it's important that everybody that doesn't know what they don't know is made aware There are a lot of people out here moving ignorant to a lot. Be intentional about catching them up. We're worth it. You're worth it. Your children are worth it. Your legacy is worth it. Our community is worth it. Don't forget that. You're not doing it because uh, I just want to I want to make sure I prove myself. No, you're doing it because you're worth it. And we tired of this. We tired of um, them having these grand juries and saying, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, we don't really see the problem. That covers it up. That excuse, that explanation they gave, that validates it all. We're rewriting our narrative from beginning to end. They don't have a choice but to get on board or get aside. We're not asking no more. That time is over. You are worth it. I am worth it. My daughter, who I know damn well is going to live to see three to four generations of her own, is worth it. That is the point.